How's it going? You mind helping me out, actually? Yeah, I actually just picked it up. I think the battery must be dead or something. I need somebody to basically like press the button in there while I press these together. Can you can you yeah, press yeah, that? Sure. What, what do you pick this up at? Here. Yeah, so just foot on the brake and then press that button when I press these two together. Okay. Is it going? It started. Yeah. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell you guys doing in my car? What are you doing? Huh? This is your car? Yeah, my car. What are you guys doing? Who's that guy? He said he just bought this car. He said he needed See, a dumpster. Dumpster. That's my car. You guys trying so, to take that or what? This guy got stolen? No, this is mine. Well, you you trying to steal. On the guy. What happened, sir? Then, these guys are trying to so take I, my car. I was driving this is your car? Yeah, this is my car. So, and so that, just, that guy was in He was inside he trying said, to start he it. He said he bought the car. And this, this old man just came over here. All of a sudden, the guy took up. I'm like, if it's your car, why would it be running? But is he your partner or what? No, 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 not at all. I, I don't even know that guy. Well, what are you doing honest. taking a car with him if you don't know him? Listen, listen. I, honestly, I have nothing to do with that. Well, you, uh, you were sitting in the seat, weren't you? Yes, but he well. said he needed help. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go break this up? Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. <laughs> It's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, what? man. <laughs> God, did, you, did he sell it pretty good? God, God, my, my heart is pumping right now. Dude. You need to take a picture of him. There you go. Just don't take off with it. Grandpa sees a chick. God, pop in. <laughs> uh oh. cop. Oh, just doing a little picture, photo op. Okay. Whose car is this? Uh, it's the guy in the pinks. Okay. He mostly just drives it to get like girls like that, though. Like to take pictures in front of it. Like he's a sicko. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> that, was, that was great. All right, we got the boot. We got to go. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you think you could actually do a favor for me? So I just got this car. The battery must be dead or something, so I got to jump it right here. But as I jump it, it has to be started in there. Oh, this is an here? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Put foot on the brake and just press start. Yep, press start. Oh my God, it actually started. Hey, what are you guys doing in my car? Huh? What are you doing in my car? What the hell is going on? No, what, are you, no, no. what are you doing? No, 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 he, he told me. Who is that? I don't know, just touch it. He, he told me. What? He's gonna He's gonna, he, he told me. Could I You're not him? with him? No, 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 I don't. What's I don't his know. name? I don't know him. That, that, that guy, catch, catch him. I don't know him. Well, don't what know. are you doing in the car then? No, he told me he need help. That's my car though. Yeah, yeah he, he, he said, catch, catch him. This is, hey. this, this guy is there, something wrong. Huh? I don't know. You, I, you I sure? Know. Yeah, yeah, I sure. Huh? I You've never know. seen him before? I don't know. I, catch him. Huh? Catch I, can, him. I, I can't run that fast. Maybe you can catch him. Huh? That's my grandpa. Trying to run you down. Yeah, and then I came back when you ran in the back. I was he went down. He said, Dude, go catch him. I said, I can't run that fast. You catch him, man. He took after you. God damn. That's what the hell you should do if he caught him. Can't run, you do it. So he did. <laughs> I basically need to press the wires together in the front here, and then I need somebody to start. You just hop in and just, yeah, just flip that up. When I press. Hey, what's going on here? Oh shit! Huh? <laughs> oh, run out! Run out! Run out! Get in the van. Go, 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 go. Get in the van. Where's he going? Please tell me you're joking. I'm not. What'd you say to the nothing, guy? Nothing, nothing. I just said, what's going on? You steal my car. There he is, right over there. Just going out. Right over here. Right, right in front of us, right here. Oh, there he goes. What'd you say to the guy? Nothing. I just said, hey, you're stealing my car. And then what? He took off with it. And you let him? How could I? I wasn't even close to it. I'm serious. Uh, I'm just kidding. Huh? No, I'm not. No, 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 that's my buddy. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my, how great. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. What were you thinking there, Grandpa? 
I thought some of the bitch stole the car. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how the hell did I become the victim? All right, so if you guys remember, last fall, Micah picked up this built 350Z drift car. It's got a massive turbo. It's LS swapped. I think it makes like 750 horsepower, but it didn't work right away, which was really funny. Anyways, I guess that's dialed in and we just got it back from the shop. But since Mike has ultimately the best drift car money can buy, supposedly, we figured we had to get a drift car of our own. But we wanted to do it more so on a budget. So we basically found the cheapest drift car we could find on Facebook Marketplace, and that just so happened to be this 1990 Miata. <laughs> and let me tell you, we've been kind of just cruising around. Haven't drifted it yet, but this is a hell of a car. I never really gave Miata's respect. I drove this thing in the first two minutes. I was like, I get it now. I get why people like these things, and you look so goofy driving around in it. It's worth it just because it's it's a hell of a car. I don't but, know if I can confidently listen to you say that. This is a sick car, dude. I love Miatas. The convertible? Well, it has to stay in convertible mode because the, the roof is actually like ripped and stuff. So it's just a full-time convertible. <laughs> We wanted to see if you could go out and spend $4,000 on a drift car, or if in Mike's case, I think he's got like 30,000 yeah. into his. So we're, we're kind of trying to do this on a budget here. Dude, Mike loves spending money. More than anyone I know. Loves spending money. Dude, he's got 30 grand in a drift car and he's never even drifted before. <laughs> like he went out and bought the best drift car unseen, had it shipped from New York, and then he had to dump another like five, six K into it. Hit the headlights. Yeah. Yeah. It's the kind of stuff you just don't get in new cars anymore. What do you, do you like it? It's all right. No. Ev does not like it. Ev hates this thing. We're trying to figure out if we need to weld the diff or not. If it's one wheeling on one side, or if we can just leave it and run it as is. Mike's here now. We're gonna have him do some. See if this hog starts. Okay, so last fall when you got the car, didn't run very good. What'd you have done to it over the winter? Basically, I don't know how it ran normal, showed up here, didn't run normal, and then needed a tune. But I got a tune. It's at 550 wheel horse and 550 torque. Pretty conservative. That's what, I, that's what he told me. I'm like, that's not conservative for me, but he's like, yeah, that's it, it can do more, but we'll keep it there. I'm like, that's fine. That is crazy. What's the Miata have? Maybe, Maybe 120. Maybe. I was gonna like say like 80. <laughs> no. This thing is so sick. He might be able to do a little bit better donuts than me. What's your guys' take? How is it gonna time? break? Well, how long is it gonna last? I thought he almost broke it right there. I hate to say it, I'm gonna be very surprised if it makes it through the entire video. Really? Yeah. <laughs> But it was amazing. 
we got like completely lost in the smoke and it felt like you were gonna hit us and all of a sudden started running and we didn't know where to run to. I was like, I'm getting behind the car. At the end of the lawn, yeah. I couldn't see anything. It sounded so close to me. This is amazing. The best part about it is you saw the comparison, obviously, to the Miata, now to this. And uh, you can tell there's a little bit of a difference. I, know, I hate to say it. I really thought that like the budget Miata build, like, yeah, I'll be able to drift. I'll be able to do everything that this car can do. It, it can't. We're still going to weld the diff on that thing, so maybe that'll help. But, uh, I mean, shit, this is completely another class. <laughs> All right, we're going to weld the diff up on the Miata. Hopefully that helps it spin a little bit better, drift around a little bit better. And then uh, we're going to load both of them up and head to our buddies Matt Sandbex. He's got a drift course and uh, see how they do. All right, so we got the diff all welded up on this thing, and now we're heading to the track to put it to the test against Mike's 350Z. <laughs> it's so hard for you to look badass in this thing, I'm gonna be honest, bro. It looks like such a punk. Well, I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to drift very good, but at least it looks pretty sweet rolling up. Two black rams. It's a little concerning when your tow rig has seven times the horsepower as your drift rig. Right, you right, just want you to have fun. Your TRX. All right, we just pulled up to our boys over at Sandbeck Race Development, SRD. They got a drag strip and also this drift track over here. They were nice enough to let us just use it today. I wanna see some wall taps. Uh, out of me? <laughs> I can't do that shit. You can if you want. It's not gonna be a wall tap out of you, it'll be a wall collision <laughs> he ran right into the wall that's what we're gonna tell him tapping the wall kind of a drift thing oh yeah, well, yeah. you gotta have skill to tap it and not crash into there's it. a difference between tapping and crashing one takes finesse the other one is just probably what's gonna happen you're just driving wide open dude <laughs> Like, we're so close, I don't really trust either of them. I think after seeing both of your guys' performances, as stellar as they were, you guys are ready to be bumper to bumper. <laughs> Dude, I don't got the angle kit for it. That's why I keep spinning out. Because I'm fully cranked and it just goes. Eh. What do you I think of that, Ken? Like Evan said, excuses, excuses. Well, why don't one of you guys hop in and try then? I would love to. Right, go ahead. <laughs> Yo, does this guy know how to drive a clutch? Dude, that Miata was a nice car. That's all I gotta say. He's mobbing. Overshadowed by the Miata. <laughs> Just showing him up. Yeah! <laughs> Is he okay? Yeah, Is the car okay? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, oh wow, it's, okay. it's oh, fine, God. dude. You just barely tapped it. Oh, dude, it's a proper dude. drift car now. You curved the tire, oh, but shit. not how people normally curb a tire. Oh, oh that was on the wall. <laughs> Look at this now. Now you you bounced it out. <laughs> I think Mike's 
getting in his way now. He's got to slow down. Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> So I'd imagine you lost all of your coolant. Oh shit. Yeah. Ah! That was fun while it lasted. Wanna trade for a minata? Why would trade you want to trade for that thing? Probably has a little higher resale. Bro, I hate to say it, but the cheap one versus the expensive. Yeah, the cheap one. I'm not letting myself get discouraged, but I look pretty bad out there.